Now, a number of questions come up. First of all, what about the results? Today, in the patients that are well, uh, we can expect uh, predictably good results in about 97, 98 out of every 100 patients we look after. What will it let you do? Basically, it will let you return to a normal life. We ask you to avoid some things such as competitive sports because you may be injured by a competitor who doesn't know you have an artificial hip. And we like you to avoid repetitive impact loading on hard surfaces. So things like jogging, perhaps racquetball, and uh, tennis are things that we would like to speak to you about before you go back to those fully. Pretty well everything else today, because of advances in technology over the last 10 years, you can return to and live a full and normal life. How long is it going to last? Difficult to say because the technological advances that we keep introducing have not been there for a very long time, but as best we can judge, looking at our results on the bench, so to speak, where the engineers work with us, we think you should be able to get about 20 years of full normal use out of a conventional hip replacement using what's called the super poly or cross-linked polyethylene. And when 20 or 25 years down the line, this seems to have worn out, it's a matter of simply taking that out and putting in a new component, leaving the shell in place, leaving the stem in place, leaving the ball in place. So you're then off you go for another 20 years or longer because 20 years from now we will have new components that I think will last for the rest of your days. One of the questions that quite commonly comes up is age. Am I too young for hip replacement? Am I too old for hip replacement? And I, I would make a number of comments. The first is that the youngest patient on which we have done a hip replacement was in her very early teens. I think she was about 13, 14 years of age and we felt justified in doing so because she was confined to a wheelchair because of very severe juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. We got her out of the wheelchair and back into normal life. The oldest we have done was over 100 and that patient also was able to remain independent until she left us because of old age about four years later. So what it really comes down to is the, uh, the condition of the patient, how strong they are, whether or not they really need for us to intervene if they're very young, and they sometimes do, uh, and how well they are uh, as they age. Because we're not infrequently will meet patients in their 40s, who are very unwell because of background disease factors, and those in their 80s and 90s are extremely well and functioning normally. And in those circumstances, we certainly feel that they are entitled to have something like this, which will reliably relieve their pain and get them back to normal life. Are there circumstances under which we would not consider a surface replacement or a large ball metal on metal hip replacement. Well, there are a number and your surgeon will go over those with you, but two obvious ones I'd bring up are firstly metal allergy. Clearly, if you are allergic to something like nickel and you'd know that from your reaction to jewelry and stuff like that, we'd be reluctant to put into you a component that's metal on metal because that does release metal ions into the bloodstream and you may get an allergic response to that either around the hip causing pain or some other more systemic issues. And the second, which is pretty obvious, but I'll bring it up nevertheless, is um, if you are a young um, female patient hoping to have another child or to start a family because we know that the metal that comes from the surface of these as they run one on the other can cross the placenta and get into the womb and we don't know what the long-term effects they may have, that is chrome and cobalt, on the developing fetus. You get rid of that metal by flushing it out with your kidneys on the assumption your kidneys are normal. If your kidneys were not normal, then we would advise against the use of a metal-on-metal -metal hip replacement.